my dear friends i am back on my youtube channel exploring matter medica after a very long time so if you like the channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you will receive more videos mother teachers form an important part in homeopathic practice we use mother teachers frequently and they are very much needed in homeopathic practice and they represent the lowest potencies of homeopathy so let us discuss about mother teachers in this video so at the end of the video one will be able to define mother teacher select mother teachers for the given clinical conditions list the advantages or disadvantages of mother teacher select the dosage of mother teachers and one very important thing which i would like to add in this video is the pharmacovigilance practice so let us justify the need of pharmacovigilance practice in homeopathy so by the process of maceration immersion and percolation the drug substances from vegetable and animal kingdom by using strong alcohol as a vehicle or as a solvent it is prepared pharmaceutically so that is a mother tincture now let us try to know what is drug power of a mother tincture so drug power of a mother tincture means the strength of the drug it means the amount of the drug in proportion to its solvents it indicates the proportion of the drug contained in the medicinal preparation for example drug power that is 1 bar 6 it means in total six parts one part is medicinal substance and five parts are solvents according to drug power amount of vehicle and tincture is determined so let us come to selection of mother tincture it is selected on the basis of symptom similarity though the outcome of usage of mother tincture is to control the symptoms or the distressing stage when we are uh, treating a sick and it cannot cure any disease it can only offer a palliative treatment so let us know what are the advantages of mother tincture the action of the mother tincture is very fast and it acts within 3 to 4 minutes and the action remains for several hours the problems usually what homeopaths face is selection of the remedy especially in acute cases so selection of the remedy needs time utilization of repertory analysis of the drugs so such times are not available in case of acute conditions so usually in most case of emergency or acute cases homeopath can use mother tinctures it is also used as a palliative medicine for many cases so when when the pathological condition is more when the suffering is more mother tinctures can be used as palliation so the further advantages of mother tinctures are that it is readily absorbed in the stomach and the intestine they are very safe and it has the lowest potency than any other medicine as the further potentization is not done further dilution is not done it is available in a crude state and in a you know 50% of alcohol 50% of the drug substance it is safer to use and it is a sure indication with lesser complication and failure so homeopath experience another problem whatever patients a homeopath gets they are not the fresh cases that he is seeing these are the patients which have taken allopathic treatment for a longer period and after that the patients come to homeopathy so when a patient is long on long treatment with uh, allopathic medicine and for him to shift from allopathy to homeopathy mother tincture often helps to shift from allopathy to the dynamic homeopathic treatment another problem that a homeopath faces is lack of clear cut indications which makes selection of the dynamic homeopathic medicine little bit time consuming so in such conditions mother tinctures can be used when there is lack of clear cut indications and mother tinctures will bring initial symptomatic improvement and it gives more time to the homeopathic physician to study the case thoroughly obscure the progress and select the proper homeopathic medicine so my dear friends when there are advantages of mother tinctures definitely there will be disadvantages the first and foremost disadvantage comes from the preparation itself as mother tincture is in a crude form so there is a chance that it will produce new pathological symptoms after its usage and as we know that the symptom similarity is not that much marked in prescribing the mother tincture so it is not a permanent solution for prescription and it is not for the long term usage so providing temporary relief cannot be the aim of a homeopathic physician as mother tincture can give only a temporary relief so selection of the proper medicine by using the repertory matra medica and the principles of homeopathy will play a important role in treating the sick so now when we have selected a mother tincture what is the dosage that has to be prescribed unfortunately there is no proper indication of any dosage of mother tinctures so whatever dosages are there it is based on the clinical practice and it is 
you, depends only on the individual physician's practice or the doses advised by the teachers or the senior practitioners. So it is totally individual based uh, dosages that which we can see in among homeopathic practices. The knowledge of the pathological dose is very, very important because the knowledge of maximum dose will prevent overdosing. So anything which is having effect is definitely having side effect. And as you know that in mother tinctures, the drug substance is in a crude form and pharmacovigilance deals with the adverse drug reactions. WHO defines pharmacovigilance as a science with activities that relate to the detection, assessment, understanding and prevention of adverse effects or any other drug related problems. So my dear friends, when you are using uh, drug substances, it becomes our responsibility to recognize the adverse uh, reactions and report them to the authorities. So the need of the hour is to ensure patient safety, which is set by Ministry of Ayush, the central sector scheme for promoting pharmacologians of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and homeopathic drug substances. So as you know that whenever we take the allopathic medicines in the packet itself, we can find the adverse actions of the drug substances and the prevention of the adverse effects, the proper dosage and also what precautions to be taken when we are using the drugs. But in homeopathy, such a thing is not available. Why? Because the adverse reactions are not known. It becomes a responsibility of the homeopathic practitioners that if we find any adverse reactions, we need to identify, we need to report it to the authorities which can uh, take a proper precaution or uh, they promote a health advisory with uh, such conditions. So the Ministry of Ayush has set a central sector scheme for promoting pharmacovigilance of Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, homeopathy, that is ASU and homeopathy drugs. So anything, my dear friends, if you notice such a uh, action, you can report it through the email that is pharmacovigilance ayush at gmail.com. So the references, my dear friends, for making this video is the augmented textbook of homeopathy pharmacy, third edition by DD Energy. So my dear friends, hope you like the video. If you like, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you will receive further videos. Thank you. Thank you one and all.